right, ladies and gentlemen, and now we're back in business here with a live showdown. It's actually going to be a Cathay mirror match. So at the very least, let's do my opponent the favor of changing our color scheme. We will be the Jade Custodians rebelling against. So look, he's, he's switching as well. We're both kind of like looking for the color schemes that we want. Cathay mirror match. Double cannon sounds good. Let's go double cannon. Uh, we do have the shooting gallery map. So we just need to fight over the middle and basically hold our back objective. Now, as far as Lord choices... Magistrate doesn't feel too great, although having him on a blimp would be really, really funny. But uh, I don't think that is going to be the play. Although, you know what we could do here? We could do the old Wuzhing War Compass. Oh my god, I regret this already. And for the Lord, we go with the Magistrate. The Magistrate can be on a horse. Uh, reload skill, yeah, we can just get his like basic buffs. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> Wuzhing War Compass, Double Cannon. Uh, aside from that, probably just Jade Warriors. I think they should trade. I mean, the Halberds are maybe a little bit more efficient here. We could just Tarp it too. This is like a lot of shooting. And the Wuzhing War Compass does have like some good Bombard spells, which against uh, Grand Cathay are actually quite good. That's that's kind of the school of thought. Uh, Sky Lantern, hmm, no, no, it's just it's just so bad. It's just so freaking bad. On horseback, maybe on foot. Yeah, we just bring him on foot to just go like bare bones. Could do a Sky Junk. God, why do I do this to myself? A sky junk is just going to be so haggard. Oh, man. I know. I know now. I know we have to do it. Okay, fine. So we have the blimp of doom. Now what we do is we bring a couple jade warriors plus a halberd. We bring you guys. And obviously for objectives, we want double terracottas. We have the sky junk, the junk in the sky. God, it only has 15 shots. Maybe we just do a fire rain rocket instead. I guess that only has 12 shots, so it's more or less in the same ballpark of just being, like, terrible. Uh, so for reinforcements, let's just get bodies. Three, four... Get a couple of you guys as well. Uh, we obviously want to get some shooting. I think that the crane gunners will be slightly more effective. And uh, we could do like one celestial crossbow. This is weird. It's like, it's so strange playing this matchup. Yeah, Cafe, it's got you, get two more spears. No mobility, but I think if we're just grinding for middle, maybe this is okay. Yeah, good luck, have fun to my opponent. Let's ready this bad boy up. Uh, no idea how this is gonna work, but should be fun. So we'll see you as soon as the battle loads in. Let's hope for the best. The Wujing Compass is here to stay. All right, so now we're here in the game with the most overpowered build of all time. Uh, so we get the two Jade Warriors up in the middle, like so. Very good. Magistrate can kind of lead the charge on them. And the cannon's going to be parked right here. Sky Junk will be sitting up as well. And uh, Halberds will go to sit on our back objective, which is kind of tough to remove. And the unbeatable Wujing War Compass is here. Oh, man. This is fun. Like, I actually get to bring some cool units because it's a Cathay opponent, you know, which is pretty interesting. Uh, my army's bigger, so I would actually love to see Terracotta Sentinels. That'd be really funny. But the Wuzhing Compass, if you're going Magistrate, maybe it's not bad. I mean, it does get really fast recharge rate. Uh, it's one per eight right now, but when the battle starts, you'll see it'll be a lot quicker. All right, so what do we got? Cannons, Terracotta. Okay, only one cannon. That's great. So let's get our cannons up. The main army can also move up a little bit. The Junk in the Trunk can move up into the sky. And yeah, this is uh, this is going to be interesting. It's, it, it is Miao Yang. She's, she's definitely a lot more imposing. We're going to need to get like some iron hail gunners or crane gunners or something to shoot her out of the sky. We could just start pounding that terracotta sentinel too. Yeah, we'll, we'll move up our force and find out. But the junk, what do we shoot with the junk? I mean, it looks like jade warrior halberds are definitely going to be the target of choice. I feel kind of ill-equipped to deal with like these big monsters. I mean, the cannon might do the trick. Yeah, it looks like the terracotta man's going to like run. He's definitely brought a very serious build compared to mine. Okay, so some cavalry there. We're just going to save up points and uh, play accordingly. The Wuzhing War Compass will be here soon, and hopefully our cannons will snipe his. We can actually use the uh, the big boy here, so let's go ahead and do marksmanship. And we do need to get some uh, basic spears to give the yin and yang. Oh, he's going after the sky junk. That's actually a big win for us. Hey, at least his crappy unit is, is occupying his attention while we snipe his cannon. You know, that's that's a win. So the sky junk apparently meta as a distraction card effects. Okay, his cannon's almost down for the count, which is awesome. And this is a good start. We got Yin and Yang active here on our cannons, so they're going to get faster reload speed. Uh, we should have it in range for this other cannon here in a second. God, I love the thundering of those cannons. It's so cool. Yeah, that's great. That just Those things just got wrecked super bad. All right, awesome. So, yeah, just keep blasting. Hopefully, they'll get chased offline, and uh, we can shoot at these halberds a little bit as well. Although, maybe we just finish off the cannon. Yep, seems good. So, yeah, we just hold this, and if he wants to play the back, you know, we have the, uh, the junk, so let's move the junk across. Let's keep shooting his cannons there. We're scooting up, and... Uh, yeah, he's going to be hugging, like, the high ground now. What do we want to do to deal with this? We could bring in some Celestial Crossbows. Let's just wait till he gets close. And then, like, surprise him with some stuff. Okay, so the cannons have no line of sight at the moment. So let's pull them back. Like so. Get them back, like, by the spawn zone. The junk can start shooting here. 
Terracotta is moving up. Uh, if he goes there, I think the Celestial Crossbows would be a nice answer. Although we could just do our own Terracotta, which seems like a safe bet. Let's just get it up on that objective. We just need to two-cap him, right? And then we're, we're good. The Wujing War Compass stands at the ready. We'll start shooting at the dudes there. Cannons are sitting back. Uh, I think, like, back so we can get, like, a more a better range. I don't know how that's going to do at a distance. Yeah, he summoned in another cannon right there. Oh, my God, this thing is so terrible. Jesus. Uh, what do we got here? Jade Warrior Crossbowmen up in the hills. Yeah, we got some some heavy, heavy pressure coming in. Trying to go after my Wujing War Compass. Oh, yeah, he's got his cannons there now. All right, so let's position the cannons here, see if we can snipe his. The Wujing War Compass is going to be chilling, and we will summon in some reinforcements. Magistrate can start running up to the high ground, because it looks like he wants that like top objective pretty bad. Uh, what does he have there? Halberds, uh, some cavalry, and now we can get the junk to start blasting those peasant long spearmen. Oh, please don't kill my Wujing War Compass. Come on, man. It's like my one fun unit. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. How, how could you do this to me? So the junk actually got some okay damage on the chaff, so I don't think we need to worry about allocating any resources at that point. We just like two cap hold this guy and then I think we're cozy. Magistrate can actually stay down here. So we got that. We got that point. We have a two cap on him. Let's we'll hang out and chill. Wuxing War Compass is uh, just juking like a boss. Let's snipe these grand cannons. Just hug back here. Look at the junk. Definitely get him, give him the biz. Yeah, he's running now. Let's go see if we can get these celestial crossbowmen dudes. And uh, yeah, let's just wait and see what he does and, and react accordingly. Like we, we can send up more halberds, I guess. It looks like Meow Ying's maybe coming. Okay, so now we get the thumping fire. <sighs> Wuxing War Compass, come on. Keep chilling. How are we doing shots wise here? Oh my god, this thing is so freaking terrible. This is so bad. Uh, we can go ahead and send some crane gunners, maybe. Okay, it looks like Meow Ying's trying some funny business now. I think we actually officially broke that grand cannon. Are all the models broken? Yeah, they are. Great. So now we can start trying to take out his lord. I think crane gunners are going to be fun. Let's get some back here in case he, he tries to dive. We can pull you up now. And he is coming in for it. So let's get some of the celestial boys up. Terracotta Sentinel can go. We can get the halberds coming. Let's pull the junk back a little. Uh, obviously can't do too much with that. And let's bring the celestial guys up as well. Ooh, right as he summons some peasant horsemen. Not summons, but ambushes me with them. We'll go after his other grand cannon. Yeah, sky junk's in a little bit of danger, obviously. Uh, it's getting hunted pretty good. We'll pull up these celestial crossbows. Seems to be going pretty good in the lord fight. Although Meow Ying's going to get there soon, and that's going to be a problem. So we need to get the Wu Jing action there. And send up some uh, some guys to go capture this. That's going to be quite nice. Oh my god. The sky junk, I, I regret like every second of it. Like every second of that sky junk, I regret. Although if we can lure Meow Ying into the uh, crossbows, maybe that's a win for us. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop the comet on these guys. Maybe it'll do some damage. Hopefully he doesn't see it coming. We don't really need to worry about the middle. It's under control. Let's get the Wujing War Compass in there. Oh, that's going to do some big damage, actually, if he doesn't move. Yeah, he's a little bit focused on other things. Peasants are coming in, but, you know, obviously we can we can get some uh, some halberds to deal with that. Maybe just shoot them. Cool, yeah, so the Wujing War Compass did some work. Our Sentinel's beating up his Sentinel, and our Grand Cannons have destroyed his business. Should be able to seal this objective. And these cannons now... Let's see if we can shoot up into the sky. And get more Jade Warriors moving to the middle. You guys move up to get the yin and yang. So those peasants are broken. Miao Ying went to human form, which is good, because she's going to start... Um... Yeah, nice, nice. We're chasing here. Magistrate man, go ahead and use the Inspired Defense. And the Wujing War Compass, we need you guys to move up and attack. Let's get the Magistrate to help as well. And uh, we can go ahead and drop some Celestial Lightning on them, maybe? Yeah, we'll have to see. All right, cool. Sorry for the blinding light. It's just the nature of the beast. All right, we'll shoot you. Move you guys up. We have the two objectives. Might be able to get this other one if he's not paying attention to Cannon's, uh, cannons miss chasing there, which is always fun. Uh, let's shoot downtown and downtown like so. You guys move up on the objective. We just need to maintain a two cap on him and we win, right? The Wuzhing War Compass just being a, just super haggard. Uh, is there anything I can do with it? Not really. Yeah, hopefully we can take down his big boy. We'll have to see. Saving wins of magic right now. Magistrate, let's go ahead and give the melee attack buff to the halberds. You know, at least he's shooting at my bad units. All right, so... In the distance, we get some crane gunners. Let's keep moving. Yeah, the cannon's doing a good job. Check that out. Nice. We need to get some, like, decent pressure on the backside, too. Because he's not defending that objective well. His army's, like, super expensive. Yeah, let's move those peasants up to see if we can, like, jack that objective eventually. Cathay plays the slow game a little bit. All right, let's pull you guys back. We need to get the Celestial Crossbow shooting. Get our big sentinel back. Halberds keep moving. And the Wujing War Compass doing the work of the gods. It's clearly the reason we're winning. Clearly the reason. All right, let's just shoot at those guys, whatever. Do whatever we can. All right, so now let's see if we can get some of these lo great Longma Riders. Can blast them here. Oh my god, look at this Celestial Crossbowman just melting his dude there. Oh, talk about Bread City. 
He might come in, but the Sky Junk is here and it's here to stay. Nice little flank from those Jade Lancers. Uh, not a whole lot I can do about that. Let's get the Crane Gunner shooting here. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the Crane Gunners. Gotta, gotta admit my micro slipped. But doing okay, and we'll uh, we'll do more back pressure. Let's go ahead and send some more halberds up there to go threaten that. Because I feel like we're pretty good on this objective. Yeah, we got some longbows in here, so let's get the uh, sentinels moving in. Magistrate man has almost gotten it down. Although Meow Yang's in here, so we should probably give him uh, give him some defense if he can. We can't do it to himself, lovely. Alrighty, so maybe we lose the magistrate here. We'll have to see. Let's get the sentinel to move in. The great thing about losing the magistrate is he's very cheap. Costs like next to nothing. All right, so let's start doing some Wujing bombardments. Cannon is obstructed, unfortunately. Let's see if we can shoot downtown there. And we are going to be probably getting his back objective, I think. Keep moving. All right. How's the Magistrate doing? He's doing the work of the gods. Great, great. And let's get you guys back on this. Come on. Oh, why am I not being able to select them? Okay, good. All right. Give all the combat stats to him. And then ranged attacks, we'll go ahead and give to the Celestial Dragon Crossbowman. Look at this. We're actually getting yin and yang in a game. What the hell is this? This is some weird shit. We've used almost all of our ammo, too. All right. Celestial Lightning. Boom. Let's drop that. How are our cannons? Looks like one of them can get back online, sort of. Actually, we're just gonna unsummon it, because like, sometimes Cathay is weird, like you can't, um, you can't like reman artillery. So the wider army is actually doing surprisingly decent here. The Wuxing War Compass is like serving as our caster, basically, and this one unit of dudes is just causing huge problems. And we're just gonna chill there with the Wuxing. Let's fly the Blimp of Doom over and see if we can get any like bombardments here. And these halberds need to like move in a little bit better. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Uh, do we want another Sentinel? Yeah, why the hell not? Let's get another Sentinel up there. He's he spent the whole game like trying to take one out. Yeah, we don't really have anything for these long ones. Though. That sucks. That sucks majorly. Like, what could I? I mean, I could get the Sentinel there, like, but that's gonna take like ten years. So we've almost got his Sentinel down. Let's get these crossbowmen back a little bit. That snow blindness is just brutal. All right. Seems fine. Wu Jing. Uh, do we have any more bombardments? Yeah, we can do it on the Crane Gunners. See if that's any any value there. But yeah, we've we we can get these spears back and. This objective we should be able to take. This is actually quite big. This is like a, a potentially game-winning play. You know what we could do is we could summon some crane gunners and we could start shooting them. So at the very least, we might be able to peel them. We did win the initial cannon trading and now we are getting big, big shooting and our terracotta man is still fighting like a champ. And you know, clearly my opponent can't deal with the might of the sky junk. It's uh, it's too much for him. It's it's the dreaded triple sky junk Wu Jing combo. Renowned, thousands of years old. All right, so yeah, why not? Let's just keep bombarding. And yeah, look at that, man. Celestial Dragon Crossbowman. Pretty fun, yeah. I mean, he can, he can come jump on this objective all he wants. But the Wujing Compass, what kind of value has it gotten? Oh, yeah, look at that, 500, okay. Now we're talking, buddy. So we're up pretty hard on points. Definitely up on points. Let's move you back here, see if you can do a little bit of pressure. The no, mo the, the no mobility thing is fun. Yeah, look, we, we actually dealt with the Longmas, too. So let's pull you guys back and get these spheres on the cannon. The cannon can be... Can we actually get back on the cannon? Yeah, we can. Good. And uh, let's start shooting at Meowing if we can. It's going to be kind of hard to catch her. All right, so some units have moved in. Magistrate can keep dropping all these buffs. They're actually pretty good, the buffs. Yeah, although it looks like he just pulled back, so... Let's move you guys up. The dreaded... Oh, baby! Come on! The value! Oh! Oh, yeah, look at that. We killed, like, one unit. Okay, well... <laughs> Just such a disappointment. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's good. We're occupying his attention there. Uh, Crane Gunner's doing great work. Look at this. Going after this guy, the, the man here. Let's take that out too if we can. Get you guys up on the objective. I think we have most of our army summoned, so we should probably do some like housekeeping here. Yeah, we don't want to unsummon anything. What can we actually afford to summon up? Yep. Just last minute security on the objectives. Boom. GG well played to my opponent. That was a fun match. Like, Cathay vs. Cathay is really fun. It's almost like Cathay vs. Kislev. Like, I enjoy that one a lot too. It's almost felt like a land battle in some ways. Like, just with, like, the artillery trading in the beginning and just all sorts of crazy stuff. So, yeah, you guys got to see a War Junk in action and a Wujing War Compass. Doesn't get much better than that. Um, 1,400 on the Junk. Okay. Okay. Cannons were great. Magistrate obviously fought, but he didn't do too much. Sentinels, quite good. Crane Gunners, decent, decent, decent stuff. And Jade Warrior Crossmen were awesome. Yeah, GG to my opponent. I mean, this is, like, definitely probably... A stronger build overall. I, I Although I think my width was actually a problem for it. Because he couldn't be everywhere at once with these like big expensive slow pieces. And losing the cannon duel in the beginning was pretty bad too. Um, not that he played bad, but just like, you know, maybe hide the cannon until you can summon a second one. And you, use Meow Ying to fly over and cast like bombardments on my cannons and win that trade. All right, GG well played. That's it. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. And Cathay endures, against Cathay at least. And so too does the Wujing War Compass.